I, Christopher, stand here ready to take you, Alexandra, to be my wife, best friend, and lifelong partner in marriage. As husband and wife, I know we'll be able to accomplish anything and overcome any challenges that stand in our way, such as you being a Dodgers fan. <laughs> From the moment I said hi to you at the team, by the team store at the Stockton Ports game, even though you said hey and just walked off, I knew you were the one I was meant to spend the rest of my life with. As we began to talk and get to know each other even better, I finally got up the nerve to ask you out. When you asked if I had any, when I asked if you had any places in mind you would like to go eat, you said Taco Bell. <laughs> At that moment, it was confirmed. I was going to spend the rest of my life with you. I have never doubted my love for you. In fact, it has grown stronger every day. You're an unbelievable mom and have been an amazing girlfriend, fiance, and in a few minutes, my wife. Christopher and I are so lucky to have you in our lives. From this moment on, with you at my side, I promise to always live by the vows I make today. I promise to give you the best future I can and to be the best father I can to Christopher and when we welcome more children into this world. I will love you whether you, we are rich or poor, healthy or sick, young or old. I pledge to hold these promises dear to my heart for the rest of my life. I love you. Christopher, when we first met, I never imagined we'd be standing here today. The moment I met you, I knew my life was going to change. When I first saw you at the ports working, I thought to myself, who is that guy? I'll never forget when we were by each other, someone asked me, what color eyes do I like? And when I said blue, you took your sunglasses off so fast. We started talking. I knew I found my next boyfriend, but little did I know, I found my future husband. The more I got to know you, I fell in love. Months went by from talking in person, and that's when I decided to send you a friend request on Facebook. I actually had to go through three Facebook pages to find you. <laughs> Weeks went by from talking on Facebook, and I messaged you and sent you, my, sent you my number to make it easier. Within minutes after giving you my number, I got a text from you. Someone couldn't wait. Every morning, you messaged me, good morning, beautiful, and it would make my morning even better. For our first date, we went to Taco Bell. Yes, I said it, Taco Bell. I actually chose to go there, and when I told you that I love Taco Bell, you told me I'm going to marry you. I thought you were kidding, but here we are. On Tuesday, July 17th, 2018 was when my life changed, and you asked me to be your girlfriend. I made the best decision on saying yes to you. We were on top of a hill at Woodward Reservoir, watching the sunset. Chris, you saved me when I was at the lowest point I had met you a year after my brother's passing. I was lost, I didn't know what to do with myself. I was depressed and deep down inside I was hurting. You helped me a lot through those times. You are there to wipe my tears away when I need a shoulder to cry on and when I have my moments. You are my biggest supporter, my best friend and my soulmate and you are an amazing daddy to our son. You two are my everything. I couldn't imagine choosing anyone else to go through life's crazy journey with. I promise to respect you as your own person. I promise to share with you my time and attention. I promise to grow along with you and be your partner and equal in all things. But most importantly, I promise I will love you unconditionally. Even if we d disagree on something, like who is the better baseball team, even though we already know the answer. Go Dodgers! <laughs> Christopher, I can't wait to continue this life with you as my husband and grow old with you. I love you forever and always. Thank you for making me the happiest girl ever.
wish I could be there today. Uh, congratulations on your big wedding today. Uh, congratulations to you and Chris. I wish I could be there right now, but uh, for at least that I can't go. So, but um, I made you a video. It's kind of as a gift. I uh, hope you like it. Uh, I don't want to see. Well, I can't see, but I don't want to. I don't want to find out no one's crying. All right, this is just a little gift for me and you. Um, since I can't be there, I mean, obviously I'm gonna buy you some, but for now, I kind of just want to say, you know, I love you and congratulations. And uh, I'm very proud of you. And I'm sure you look very beautiful today. And uh, Chris, treat her right. I know you. Will.